At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. This Christmas weekend, we are expecting heavy snowfall and severe temperature drops. Harsh conditions such as these will prompt many to consider bringing their outdoor pets inside to keep them safe. And for those who are unsure of what to do, Pike County Animal Shelter has some advice for local pet owners. Bringing your animals indoors is critical. Honestly, it's not so much the cold itself that is the issue. It's the fact that it's going to get so cold so quickly and then the wind chill. That will actually cause your animals to become hypothermic, have a low temperature very quickly and can put them at risk for death. And so that's the, obviously what you would like to avoid. You want to keep your animals safe when you have these critical storms coming. Animals of all kinds will be seeking shelter and pet owners can provide it for them. But proper living conditions should be prepared if pets are to be kept indoors. Um, they can borrow a crate from a neighbor or get a crate and actually kennel their animals inside, even if it's in a garage temporarily for the storm. If they are not able to do that, your animal needs shelter three-sided enclosures with a roof, something that's designed for the animal to actually reside in. Don't put blankets, don't put hay. Those things will absorb moisture and compact and your animal can actually freeze to the hay or to the blanket and become unable to move and they will actually die in that circumstance. Make sure you bed them down with plenty of straw. It will maintain negative airspace in that, in that space that they're in and it will allow their body heat to stay trapped and insulate them while they're in there. Obviously, if you have animals that are having babies or preparing to have babies, those animals especially are at risk because they're not just trying to fend for themselves, but fend for their unborn as well. Make sure that those animals are your priority for getting them inside, getting them in a safe space where they're not at risk and putting their unborn at risk as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.